friends, welcome back to Bucket List Homestead. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking that play button and choosing my channel to watch. It's much appreciated. And for all the people who've been here before, yes, I'm back, yay. <laughs> I am finally back filming after a very rough month. So thank you all who have reached out and let me know that you would be waiting for me when I came back. It was much appreciated, very much so. Today's video is going to be one of my funnest ones, and it's certainly one that you all seem to enjoy. We are going to be opening My Ireland subscription box for September, and guess what came today? <laughs> Octobers. <laughs> so we will be opening those together. All I've done is take the plastic off. I have no idea what's inside of here. Um, I'm really excited for, no, it's not, it's not Octobers, it's Novembers. They're gonna start Thanksgiving. And I do have a QR code that I put right up here, and that is for $15 off your first box. And I will also pin it in the comments down below for those of you who don't want to use the QR code. I will have a link, click link down below in the pinned comments. And I just have to say, this would make a great Christmas present for anyone who is thinking about um, Christmas already. I am, <laughs> I've got quite a bit of my shopping done already. This is wonderful. You can get just one month subscription. You can get three months, six months, year. You know, I get one every month now. Um, mine rolled over. Once the three months was done, I just kept getting it. So uh, it makes a great gift, especially if they are, if anyone in your family or friends are Ireland lovers like me, you'll really enjoy it. It is a different box every month. I was a little bit worried once I reached my year box if I would just start seeing the same things, but nope, they have been very different. And the ones coming up are gonna be like homemade Christmas um, in Ireland. So I'm really excited <laughs> to see those ones. So enough yabbing, we are gonna look in September's My Ireland box. As always, these come always so nicely packaged. I also wanna mention, um, she also let us know last month that she has teamed up with a new courier delivery service. So these are coming much faster um, now in the mail than they used to be, like m way faster than they were. So that's another positive. Okay, ooh, so first thing up, this is the Wonky Woolens, made in Ireland. I'm assuming it's gonna be something out of wool. Boy, this is one very tough canvas bag. <laughs> okay, <gasps> it's a new sheep! to add to my collection, I think. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is. How cute. It's so soft with this little green scarf. Oh, that's too cute. Is there anything in here? Oh, okay. So this says, the Wonky Woolens, made in Ireland. And if I can find this. Woolen Origins. This is way too tiny for me to read, so I need to get my reading glasses just a second. Okay, got my glasses. So, it says, Six handmade stuffed toys were passed through my family for generations when my Dublin-based granny passed these toys down to me. I realized that they had been handmade to such a high quality that they would last for another six generations of love and memories. I discovered that many toys today are no longer made to last, isn't that the truth? <laughs> and are made with little care for the impact they make on the world or the people who made them, which is what we set out to change with our toys. Our woolens are all ethically handmade with wonky character and high quality materials so that they last to create generations of memories. Okay, very cute. And it's crochet, which you all know I love. So that'll be good. I can add it to my other two sheep that are up on my shelf. <laughs> Next, I am guessing these are going to be chips. I hope they're my, oh, they're, oh, popcorn, honey, and sea salt. Now that sounds good. I have to admit, the chips last time were not good, <laughs> but those sound really good. And I do, I save the tissue paper. Grace's birthday is tomorrow, the day, uh, so tomorrow is Tuesday. So this video goes out Wednesday, so she will have already had her birthday. Next up, <gasps> Seasons of Ireland, Spring, Summer, Autumn, Winter. I, okay, I love this. <laughs> that is so cute with all the sheep with the umbrella. I love a nice canvas bag. Very cute. Be taking that to the store with us. That is from 
Cara Craft and made in Ireland. Very cute. So far, so good. This is a good box. <sighs> Next up are two, set of two greeting cards with envelopes. These are beautiful. So there is one, a little Irish cottage in the woods. Um, nice sunny day. And then the other side, here it is at night. It's probably got some peat smoking in the fireplace and it's at night with the moon. Very pretty. Nice, all handcrafted. Very nice. And in every box comes a book that lets you know what the theme is this month and why she picked each thing. Obviously the theme this month is Irish sheep. I won't look at this now because I don't want to know what else is in the box yet. But she also always includes a recipe. This one is Anne's Delectable Blackberry Jam. That does look good, <laughs> I must admit. So they always come with that. And oh my goodness. <laughs> Irish shortbread chocolate chip shortbread and oatmeal cookies made with Irish butter. Okay, <laughs> I almost bought shortbread cookies yesterday. I'm glad I didn't. Those, let me see, can we open them without ruining the box? I wanted to see what they look like. Oh, yeah, here. And of course, they broke. Usually they do when they come, but there they are. And Mom and I will have to try those with some tea. Those sound delicious. And it looks like that's everything this month in the Ireland September box. Let's put this back in. Okay. My wish is that you don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I'm running, and you should too. And hit that subscribe button. I know what you've been asking yourself. How can I make a difference? I'm just one person. I can make a difference, but I'm just one person. Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that it's free, quick, and easy. Share this video on your social media and make that difference today. Oh, we got something on the outside. Oh, it's a little dish with a sheep and a puffin. That's cute. It might have fallen out of the... Okay, Ooh, lots of goodies, so... All right, first up. Irish Turf Peat Post Office Incense Burner. Nostalgic Essence of Ireland. Well, that is really cute. All right, well, let's open it up. There we go. I have gotten a peat incense burner from them before. It was really small. So there's the peat. And yes, they still use peat to burn um, for uh, heat in Ireland. That will be the holder. And then this, oh, this is cute. And it's in Gaelic, if you can see that. I'm assuming that's post office <laughs> in Gaelic. That is really cute. So that will go in here. And then when the peat comes out, it will come out of the chimney. That is really cute. Very, very cute. Okay, put that here. Oh, yay! Berries Original Tea. I, this is a different one though than the last, last time I got tea from them. Um, I think, is it a different, let me see. Oh, ingredients, nope, black tea. All right, it was really good. I was really happy to get that. And I have not been able to find that actually around here. More cookies, oh yay. <laughs> Chocolate Kimberly's. I've never heard of them. <laughs> um, they are, oh, they have a recipe. You use these to make another dessert. Oh, here we go. Nope, still doesn't tell me. Um, ginger flavored biscuits with a mallow center smothered in milk chocolate. Well, that doesn't sound bad at all. <laughs> so we got some more cookies. And then we get our book. The theme is Irish Village. Oh, yeah, that says Irish Village. <gasps> Look at the recipe this month. Granny's Apple Buns. 
We call cupcakes buns. This time of year, the neighbors and family are delivering bags of apples to ours and Granny's house, and these sweet apple hugs are perfect to use up the leftover bounty that are not brought to school or eaten during the day. And they sound, okay, so... While I was away, my family went apple picking for me, and we have lots of apples to get through. <laughs> and I will be filming it all for you. I'm going to say... I think 25, 30 pounds of apples. It's a lot, which is fine. That's what I wanted, but it's a lot to get through. I think we'll make these muffins with some of them so we can try them. So those sound really good. So, okay. The last thing in this one is an Emerald Autumn. Mm -hmm. Nostalgic Paper Delights. I have no idea what this is. Is this a card? Yes, I hurt my finger, so um, it's, you don't realize how much you can use your left hand. Um, okay, I honestly don't know. Is it just a postcard? <laughs> Step into your very own miniature Ireland and experience a cozy, relaxing day in all, uh, uh, Dublin. A day in autumn. I guess it's just maybe like a print that you frame. I mean, that's what I'm gonna probably do with it. I'm gonna be a little honest. This month's box, October's box, leaves a little lacking. Not, um, I forgot to mention, each box is supposed to have up, uh, up to a, anywhere from 100 to $150 value US and I'd love to know how much this thing is because I'm not seeing anything else that would cost to make a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. I mean, unless their cookies are twenty, thirty dollars a package in Ireland. Um, yeah, that's this must be expensive is the only thing I can think of because I mean, in tea, I don't think tea is too expensive. Maybe the artist charges a lot for these. I don't know. It is a print, but there's nothing else with it to tell me anything about it. Um, maybe I missed something. Let me see. Um, she's an illustrator, Rachel Cor Corin. Ah, distinctive Irish. Step into your very own miniature Ireland. Nostalgic paper delights from Dublin, Ireland. That's all it says. I guess, like I said, it's just a print. There's no number on it. It is signed. So maybe they charge a lot for the print, but hmm, you'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think of October's box. Um, hmm, as I said, I oh, I forgot, I forgot, we did get this plate too. We did get this plate too, but still, it's a little, hmm, a little disappointing. I hope, I know last year's December's box was one of my favorites, so I'm definitely looking forward to that one. That one had amazing things in it for Christmas but just a tad bit disappointed in that. We are going to try that popcorn now. So before I try the popcorn I'm just going to talk about the white elephant in the room. Yes my hair is a lot shorter than it was last time you all saw me. I did get my hair cut in Florida. I don't like it. I'm really unhappy with it <laughs> but there's nothing I can do about it now. I can't glue it back on so it's it's cut a lot <laughs> so I just wanted to mention it before you all did. Okay. So this is delicious. Wow, that is really good. Oh my goodness. That is really good popcorn. Okay, I'll be eating all this. <laughs> That's really good. Wow. That's really delicious. I like that. Okay, friends, that is it for... September and October's My Ireland Box. I did do August Box as a live, which somehow has disappeared off my channel. I have no idea what's happened. It's no longer there. As a matter of fact, right until recently, it said it was upcoming still, which I don't understand because I put that out there. Um, I opened it live. So um, if you're wondering, where's August? I did it live. <laughs> That's where August is. And it's so nice to be back. I've missed you all. Um, I'm hoping to get back into the groove quicker than later, but it's funny how when, when you haven't done this for a while, you kind of 
feel a little out of your element again. So we will hopefully fix that and get back into things the right way. And I hope to have one more video out for you this week, but I'm not gonna promise anything. We will start slow. Um, you'll definitely see this one this week. And maybe I will have another one for you this week. Probably am because I have to tackle these apples. <laughs> yeah. I also wanted to give you all a little bit of news as of today. David and I no longer are looking for a vehicle. We finally found a new to us vehicle. We'll be picking it up this week. So that is one less stress <laughs> off my shoulders. So yay, we'll be picking that up. So that's done. That's it friends. Until then, take care, God bless, and we'll see you all soon.